Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we go through the roadmap from week to week, letting you know exactly what has changed where. As always, a huge, huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support. If you do enjoy my content and find it useful and would like to support the channel even further, be sure to follow the links in the description below. So there have been quite a few significant changes on the roadmap for this week. Let us start with an official statement from CIG on this week's roadmap roundup. Now I quote, due to a variety of factors such as the recent transition to working from home and our push to improve stability and playability, Alpha 3.9 won't be quite ready for the time of its original release goal in a few days. As you know, we're currently in Evacotti testing and plan to release to the wider group on the PTU very soon. We are very close, end quotes. So this is completely understandable with everything that's going on. And to be honest, if the stability and playability improves from 3.82 to 3.9, then it'll just be totally worth it in my opinion. Hopefully sometime next week we get a wave one, then I can begin to show you what 3.9 has to offer. Whether it's early next week, late next week, we don't know. Uh, but fingers crossed it comes sooner than later. As of last night, a new Evocati patch 390F was released, which is still focused on pretty much the same as the previous patches. However, there has been a few more bug fixes, a few client and server crashes fixed as well. So firstly, let's take a look at what has changed in Alpha 3.9. So kicking off with characters, the prison uniforms are 75% complete. Nine out of 12 tasks are done. Only three to go now. Almost done. Microtech Collection, which is all its clothing and armor sets, that is at 86% complete with 6 out of 7 done. Only one remains there. Now for locations, the new Babbage Landing Zone and the Klesher Automated Prisons are in polishing. For gameplay, the Restricted Area Rework is at 80% complete. 8 out of 10 tasks done. Only 2 more remain there. Now for ships, the Prowler is at 83% complete. 63 out of 76 tasks are done. 13 are remaining. It is almost completed. I do still think this is going to be in the, the live release rather than a 3.9x. I will have a Prowler game package to give away on the release of the 3.9 live build. So do keep an eye out for that one. Uh, details will come at a later date. Now the Origin M50 improvements. Last week it was scheduled. Now it says 0 out of 8. So it looks like they are finally getting on with this. Maybe this could be released in a 3.9x patch instead of being for the live release, but who knows? They've still got time left, so we'll see. Finally, for 3.9 and Cortec, performance optimizations is still scheduled. Now, this is just general optimizing as they go, so I'm not really sure what the tasks are for this one or whether it's something they can address once all of 3.9's features are in or not, uh, but fingers crossed. We get a lot more stability, a lot more performance. Like they've said, they want to get stability and playability fixed up for 3.9. Uh, because 3.8.2 has been... Well, 3.8 was a bit glitchy with the server OCS and the physics refactor. But fingers crossed, that is now improved. Uh, and we can start playing together a lot better. Anyway, in 4.0, the only changes are in weapons. It is the Lightning Bolt Company ADSCAV. Electron Sniper Rifle. This is at 19% complete. 5 out of 27 tasks are done. So still 22 to go. But we did see some images of the actual look of this weapon as well as the visual effects when the weapon is fired. I love the look of the effects. The weapon styling is not really my design. Not very fond of it. Do let me know what your opinion is on these weapons though. Uh, also the Uberev Electron Pistol from the same manufacturer. That is at 27% complete. 7 out of 26 are done, so 19 remain there. Again, not my style, but an interesting visual direction nonetheless. Swiftly on to 4.1 and locations, the Space Station cargo decks are now 50% complete. 3 out of 6 tasks are done, so only 3 to go. This is what we saw on Inside Star Citizen recently, so they are almost done, and it would be great to get these in early if that is even a possibility. It does mention now that these are facilities within rest stops. I have done a separate video talking about why these are important, especially for evolving the hauling mechanic and getting the whole seat in game, which I have linked in the description below. I expect refineries to also be on the roadmap pretty soon, as they did sort of state both cargo decks and refineries are going to be attachments to space stations. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Now, for gameplay, the missile operator mode flagged up, but there is no visual changes, so I wonder if they've established some theory behind that one. 
docking has changed a little and it is for the better as well. Now I'll quote what they said again. The work needed for both ship to ship docking and ship to station docking is the same now that the physics proxy has been completed. Instead of working on one and then the other, we are able to roll it into one card and deliver it all in Alpha 4.1. End quote. So the description for the card for docking reads as followed. It says, adding the ability to dock and spawn vehicles connected to space stations, as well as docking two ships together. This functionality is required for some of the larger ships to spawn at certain locations. So this is pretty massive news. This means things like the Merlin can attach to the constellation, as well as ships being able to dock to one another using their docking collars and docking to space stations. As we know, the whole sea is dependable on ship to station docking because it cannot land when it is fully laden or when the spokes are protracted. So it is quite vital. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the Caterpillar command module can detach from the main body as they did say this is something else. This is two ships splitting into one rather than two ships attaching together. So don't expect that to be functional for 4.1. But it is cool that we will get both simultaneously and it could potentially bring the whole sea as I spoke about in a previous video. So fingers crossed for that one, but that is excellent news. Something has been removed from the roadmap, which is the security systems. And CIG does say that due to other tasks taking longer than expected, including the prisons and a handful of tasks surrounding an unannounced event, it says that it, they couldn't get the resources to get security systems done. So it's been temporarily removed until they uh, can more accurately schedule it in. What this unannounced event is, I don't know. My theory is probably some sort of ship sale for 3.9 could be a concept sale, it could be a straight to flyable, could have something to do with the concept ships we saw at CitizenCon, could have just something to do with the new Imperator voting coming up uh, in October. We don't know yet, but hopefully it's something exciting. Anyway, quite an interesting update today. Firstly, 3.9's live release will be slightly delayed. Not greatly, but enough to miss the deadline. But as I said, if stability and playability is their priority here, I am more than happy to have that delay. Docking getting unified is great news, uh, and with this unannounced event happening, what, when, why, who knows what's going on, but it's exciting nonetheless. Uh, anyway, do let me know what your thoughts are and hit that subscribe button for more Star Citizen videos, including Star Citizen Sunday tomorrow, covering all of the news from the week just past. Do me a favor as well and hit that like button, really appreciate that. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.